<laughs> Residents here in Gumani, a suburb of Tamale, have been battling with a power outage for the past five days. They have been compelled to sleep in open spaces with their only savior from mosquito bites being insecticide treated nets. You can't plan your business life. Sometimes your computers cannot be powered on. You have to travel distances to even go and beg neighbors and friends to power on your laptops and phones. I mean, look, we are in a century where we must be smart, we must be very productive in handling affairs of electricity. These are basic necessities that we need in life. Water, light, please. It is whoever is in government or in governance. You need to provide us those necessities. Light is very essential for our development. We plead with the government, any other stakeholder who can help us, please remedy the situation. We have children and darkness like this, it endangers them. When even there is light, we are not safe. How much more when there is darkness? A lot of, uh, how do you call it, wicked people around and our children are always in danger. So often we don't let them stay outside because of the darkness by 6, 6.30, they have to be indoors so that at least we know they are safe. So for the outage, there is a lot of problems that it has brought upon us. This is the fourth day that we are in, and as you can see, you yourself, as you came here, you can see there is no life around. Where there is light, there is life. But with the darkness, nothing is happening. And it is not just residents who are suffering. Businesses are also feeling the pinch of the outage. See the way my teeth are swelling. Five days today, we don't have lights. And when we are calling them, they won't pick. Many shops and restaurants have recorded losses with the outage persisting. Hamid Ramato owns a provision shop where she sells locally produced beverages. Now I can't sell anything. All my teeth are spoiled. Over a thousand plus. And I don't know who will pay that debt for me. I don't have anybody to pay my debt. I'm begging them. They should please. They should please come and wipe our tears. We are begging them. In the name of God, we are begging them. We are suffering here. Not even me alone. All of us. Gumani, we are crying. They should come and help us. Please, they should come and help us. See, see my teeth. All my teeth are spoiled. Abba, Jeremiah, Abba. We can't sell pure water. I can't even sell my drinks again. See this one. Not, it can't do anything. This fridge, five days today, we didn't open it. See the way my teeth are hot. Our efforts to get an explanation from the Northern Electricity Distribution Company, Netco, has been unsuccessful, but the assembly member for Gumani tells us the outage is not as a result of doing so, but that a damage transformer costed. You know, this is Netco, and Netco is under electricity company of Ghana. So they said the, 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 um, the transformer is damaged. We are looking up to them to be able to fix this problem for us because we don't, we can't fix the problem ourselves and we also need the light. They have to do it for us. It is their duty. It is mandatory for them to provide us the electricity. His inability to get the net code to resolve the problem is giving him sleepless nights. Day in, day out, there are calls on my phone. Even, um, it is weekend, but uh, the people need the, the electricity the most. So um, we are not sleeping. Yes, for the past four days, about five days today, we don't have light. We don't have light at all. Residents here will continue to suffer the brunt of the outage if it continues, as the news team understands. The extent of damage to the transformer will require several days more to be fixed and for electricity to be fully restored. Reporting for GH1 News, Abdul Hanan Adam, Gumani.